If you've been considering a premium estate car but were convinced you'd have to buy something German, then think again. This is the new Jaguar XF Sport Brake and we're here in the Cotswolds to see if it's a worthy alternative to rivals from Audi, BMW and Mercedes. It's based on the excellent XF Saloon and at the front the two cars are pretty much identical. Naturally, the big change is at the rear end with that big boot and those wraparound rear lights that give it something of the look of the F-Type SUV. Despite having all that extra space inside, it may surprise you that this estate is actually the same length as the saloon. And in fact, with its elegant lines and coupe-like profile, it really does live up to the sport in its sport brake name in terms of the way it looks. The question is, does the rest of it match up? Inside, the first thing to strike you about this XF is just what a classy car it is. This is in R Sport trim, but you can really appreciate the stitching here on the top of the dashboard, the three-spoke steering wheel, and that blend of traditional and modern. But although the dashboard has fully digital dials, they're very traditional in the way they look and very easy to use. Admittedly, the infotainment system is a little less easy to use than the equivalent systems in, say, an Audi or a BMW, but give it time and you'll better use that screen really effectively. Of course, the main reason for buying an estate is practicality. And right in these front seats and the back seats as well, there's plenty of room. You could easily get four six footers in this car. I'm over six foot tall myself and there's no problem for me with headroom or legroom. And there's plenty of room for another two six footers in those back seats. The boot too, it's not the biggest in the class. The Mercedes E-Class takes that crown but what you lose in terms of sheer space, you gain in clever little features. There are bag hooks in there, for example. You can put a load restraining net on the floor and it's very, very easy to fold down those rear seats, which are split in three ways. Rather than traditional 60-40 split, you get a 40-20-40 split. And it all helps to make this car very, very practical. And if you're a family, you'll really appreciate that space. The boot too is a very, very square shape and that makes it easy to load things and stow things away. Equally, if you're a dog owner, you'll really appreciate the fact that that load lip is nice and low, so it's really easy for your Labrador to jump into the boot. Out on the road, yes, the sport brake certainly does feel quite sporty for an estate. Whereas rivals like the Volvo V90 are more about comfort and refinement, there's something a little sharper about the way the XF drives. It feels quite agile, quite nimble, and like a much smaller car, in fact. The version we're driving here today is what Jaguar reckons will be one of the top-selling versions in the UK. It uses the 240 PS version of the 2.0-litre diesel engine in a car that, confusingly, is badged 25D. But it has just enough performance for everyday use, even though it comes with four-wheel drive and an eight-speed automatic transmission. In most everyday situations, that combination of engine and gearbox works really, really well. It's only when you go to the more sort of extreme levels of daily motoring that you notice any problems. That automatic gearbox, for example, can be a little bit slow to react when you put your foot down, and when you do put your foot down and the engine goes to its highest revs, it's really quite noisy. And although you may expect something that's got a sporty side to its nature to be a bit uncomfortable, a bit firm over the bumps, in fact, even though this car comes on 20 inch wheels, it's really quite comfortable most of the time. If you're going to drive a long way in this car, you'd have no problem at all. Overall, in fact, this is a really pleasant car to drive and that makes it really enjoyable to drive too. It's nice and easy around town because this steering is light. Although it's quite a big, long car, it's easy to maneuver in those tight spaces. Then when you get on the open road, you can really enjoy that delicate balance of the chassis. It really is it's good fun. So in that sense, yes, it really is a sporting car. And what that means is that whether you're dropping the kids off at school or enjoying yourself on your own on the way back, you're going to have a big smile on your face when you drive this car. The XF Sport Brake has an awful lot going for it. Not only is it a really good looking car, it's every bit as practical as its rivals from Audi, BMW and Volvo. It's also very well equipped too. Thanks to its low running cost and low prices, it's also extremely attractive to buy, whether you're having it yourself or running it as a company car. If you just want the biggest estate car you can buy, then you'll need the Mercedes E-Class. But in every other respect, 
This XF Sport Brake is one of the very best in its class and certainly worth a look if you're after a car of this class.